One of the lamest apologetics in the theistic quiver is the argument from inspiration. They point to all the great music and paintings inspired by religion, and then they act as though that lends their beliefs some amount of value. And of course, when I point to all the great music and paintings inspired by heroin, they still seem to think they have a valid argument. But perhaps a better counterpoint is any of the number of phenomenal secular musicians who draw their inspiration from science, reality, or even their prodigious disdain for religion. Well, my guests tonight, I believe, fit in all three of those categories. Steve and Tally Cass are the dynamic duo behind the atheist hard rock powerhouse Monster on Sunday. Tally, Steve, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Fun to be here. Awesome, awesome. So uh, you guys have a new album coming out on August 7th with the mouthwatering title of Baby Eater. So do you sing recipes on that or what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have some dishes in the album as the form of photos, uh, but not actual recipes, no. Well, yeah, well, the, the cover is the... Um, baby meatloaf. Baby meatloaf. Dish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's some other delectable baby photos salad. and dishes there. The, the foot, baby foot salad. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. If, we might have to pause here so I can run and grab a bite now. You're getting, making my tummy rumble. So, now, why go so heavily towards the atheist angle? I mean, do, do you feel like that reduces your potential fan base at all? Well, I don't really feel like I have a choice in the matter. Most of these songs are very personal to me. Um, many of them are my personal stories of growing up as the only atheist in a very religious family full of uh, pastors and preachers and things. And um, I was the only one that didn't believe. And it's been a struggle. It's been difficult feeling like accepted and things like that. Um, so... I don't think I had a choice. I've always considered myself an atheist, and I really like using that word, and I think we should be proud of using that word, and I like to destigmatize the word if possible. So, no, I, I don't care if it limits a fan base. I don't think it will. Um, I think we're coming out with a strong atheistic message, and me being a female front to the band is, I think is powerful and inspirational to a lot of people. So we're just hoping to be an inspiration with all that. Awesome, awesome. It is going to fuck up your bar mitzvah business, though, and those things are a gold mine. So, now I want to give our audience a taste of what you do, but before we get into that, tell us about the uh, the big album release show you got coming up. Okay, so we're going to play at Ramona Main Stage on August 7th, and it's going to be really awesome. Steve Hill, the comedian, is going to open up for us. Shelly Siegel is going to follow. Oh, awesome. And we're going to play our full album for the first time ever um, at that show. We're going to take a quick listen to one of the singles right now. It's a tune called Just Like You. Now, is there anything you want to tell us about the song before we uh, jump into it? Well, it's our first single uh, release, and it was inspired by biologist uh, Richard Dawkins um, in his New York Times bestselling book, The God Delusion. We just love that book, and we wanted to write something that talks about turning it around, because everybody has this idea about God that he's so wonderful and amazing and it's all about peace, love, and granola. Well, you know what? It's not. The God of the Bible is a scary bastard. Just yeah. Kidding. So we basically wrote a book that puts all the a truth song. out. Or, we, didn't sorry, we wrote a song <laughs> that puts all the truth out there that is in the Bible of all the awful things that God also is. Right on, right on. Yeah, there's definitely echoes of the... Uh, I believe it's the opening paragraph of chapter two of that book that uh, inspired a great deal of this. It's one of the greatest atheist uh, rants ever written. All right, so we're going to give it a quick spin here. Uh, this is Just Like You from the forthcoming album Baby Eater. So a quick warning, if you usually listen to this show on fast or anything, you might want to pause, adjust your player to normal speed for the next five minutes. <laughs> 